This guide shows you how to back up your iPad, iPod or iPhone to your computer. Now the best way to back up is through the iCloud because it's fully automatic when you're connected to Wi-Fi. But uh, you may have run out of space, in which case um, I would suggest purchasing more space because it is the easiest way to back up. Uh, but if you simply can't afford to uh, purchase more space, then uh, this is another way of doing it. Now, you need to make sure that you've got iTunes installed on your computer. If you haven't got it installed, then uh, you can follow my guide um, in the link uh, which tells you how to install iTunes on a Windows computer. So do that first of all, but if you, if you have got it installed then find the icon for iTunes on your desktop or if you can't find it on your desktop, left click the start button and type on your keyboard iTunes. Then after a moment iTunes should appear. There we go, iTunes. Left click iTunes and wait for it to load. Okay, so once iTunes has loaded, plug your iPhone, iPad or iPod into the computer. Now, it may come up here saying there's a new software version. I'm just gonna cancel that for the moment. So I'm gonna move my mouse over cancel and left click once. This probably won't come up for you, um, only if it needs an update. Uh, so anyway, wait for a few moments. And what we're waiting for is for this to appear just up here, this square just up here. When that appears, left click the square once Okay, and then what we need to do is we need to look for this here, manually back up and restore. So we, with our iPad or iPhone or iPod plugged in, we click back up now. Okay, that starts to, uh, to back up. This might take a little while, depending on how much you've got stored on your iPhone, iPad or iPod really depends on how long this takes. It could take a few minutes, it could take uh, an, an hour or so. Uh, all you've got to do is just leave it. So uh, don't try and stop it because uh, you'll end up breaking it. So make sure when you do this, you've got plenty of time. You don't need your iPhone, your iPad or your iPod for a little while. Um, okay, as we can see now, we've got this blue line now appeared at the top of the screen, which gives us an idea of the progress. So uh, in my case, it's moving in, but very very slowly it's still got a long way to go so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's nearing the end of the backup okay so my iPad has nearly finished backing up um, still uh, it's still backing up at the moment because it's still saying backing up Chris's iPad so uh, if yours does this just leave it for the time being and we'll come back to it once it's finished Okay, so at the top of the screen there, we've gone back to the Apple logo and it says their latest backups today, 1308 to this computer. So that tells me it's now backed up. Now, if you wanted to ever restore your iPad back to uh, today's backup, then all you do is you do exactly the same process, but instead of left clicking backup now, you left click restore backup and follow the instructions on the screen. Okay, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.